all right so we're gonna go out here to the garden this morning and just kind of see how things are going and uh when my friend nicole came over guys um she discovered a watermelon i didn't even know it was growing because <laughs> she was like oh you got an extra one there and i'm like what anyway i'm gonna start you over here um this is my flower bed and we we're just trying to figure out was this mint or is it uh mint or or basil i'm thinking it's mint nicole thinks it's basil it does have like a squared uh, rectangle kind of base to it um i don't know it has to be from the wildflower mix because that's the only things that i done threw in there besides the zinnias and marigolds um so i don't know what that is um but it's nice looking it smells good so i don't know <laughs> okay but i wanted to show y'all this morning what she discovered when she was here okay so i have a watermelon down here growing and then i have one right here growing jumping paying attention but guys tell me why there's a watermelon growing in here and it's a big one i don't even know how it got itself in there well I'm sure it grew down up in there but look at that <laughs> i didn't even know it was in there i mean it's just sitting here in this pot growing and she seen it and i was like what i did not know because i was showing her these down here i have two in there that are growing and it's probably some more in here somewhere i just haven't seen where they didn't took off to or they're hiding it but anyway we're gonna go ahead into the garden and oh look the bees sleep this morning y'all so i found out that when bees sleep in the flowers that is because they don't have a home and so that's where they rest yeah. they rest on your flowers so if you come out early enough you can catch the bees that don't have a hive to go to sleeping in the flowers. <laughs> I seen that on a video. I can't even remember what somebody's YouTube video that they have posted about uh, bees sleeping. I was like, what? They really do that? But apparently so. Because I just seen my first bee sleeping in the flower. So, guys, I need to get some potting soil, like, quick, because it's not at the bottom yet, but, um, I don't want these to be stunted. These are my Roma tomatoes. My other Roma tomatoes are getting bigger, and these have not gotten bigger, uh, so I don't want them to be stunted. This back here is my cucumbers, and over here is my, uh... Oh, oh, zucchini. Zucchini in there. I don't know what this is. Maybe a cabbage. Maybe a broccoli. <laughs> I did have it marked at one time. And then, what is this one? Mm -hmm. It has the rounded leaves. Yeah. <laughs> don't know. Anyway, I got to pull out all the stuff out of my greenhouse. I think I'm going to take this uh, umbrella down right now because I want the sunlight to get to them for a while. Alright, so I pulled these out. They're looking pretty good. I know it's about time for me to start planting um, some more. Guys, these right here. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Ground cherries. I know it's probably not the season that most 
I'm growing me some ground cherries because I want a real good batch of ground cherries. I had the little bitty sample. Uh, my plant only grew like one foot, not even one foot, a few inches. And it gave me some. It was just a, a tease. So I grew me some more. And hopefully they'll get big enough before the weather change. But anyway, um, I definitely have to harvest some <laughs> okra. My okra are looking very, very nice this morning. Let's go ahead and take that off of there. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful okra this morning. Yeah, I got several. Wow. Yeah, lots of okra to pull off this morning. Well, this wasn't plant. Ow! A little pokey leaves. Um, this was not my plan to do an okra haul, but since I'm here, <laughs> I gotta watch these bumblebees early this morning. They be here, and the, and the honeybees be already here. And I says, look at this. That's what don't supposed to be over here. Ugh. A leaf-footed bug. There we go. Beautiful okra <laughs> this morning <laughs> oh let's see sometimes these little ones have theirs hiding see look at that all right oh we got some more on the back side too y'all okay And that okra stuck me in my finger. I feel its little, little uh, spiky things in my finger. Let's go around here. Oh, look at Mr. Frog this morning. Good morning, sir. Look at him. Good morning. He's like, uh-uh, don't come bother me. <laughs> um. Oh, see, like three of them inside there these are my uh bubba okra they're small low to the ground okra great for small spaces or if you want to do even container growing with this these are great to do and as you can see they still give normal size okra that's a little small that's not ready yet that one's not ready yet but they get a little bigger than this but i'm gonna take this one this morning but these are great for container growing. I'll go ahead and take it. This morning. Ooh, now this is a nice one. Glad I seen it before it get any bigger. Wow, look at that. Look at that nice okra there. So we will have okra continuing to grow until it started getting cold weather so if you are going to do okra make sure that you have it in a place where it can stay a while because um, like I said it takes a while with the okra before they die out they can even handle some cool there's another one down there um, they can handle some cool but they'll start kind of dying out some Come on, let it go. <laughs> uh, man, my finger's itching from that okra. Ugh. You just wash your hands off. It'll be okay. But uh, I have some more space here. I think I'm going to start coming in here. Well, first of all, I need some more soil. I want to fill them up with a lot more soil in here. And I think I'm going to start planting out some of my um, fall crops in here. You know. Golly, my fingers itching. Uh, <laughs> yeah, planting out some of my fall crops along these where the okra can still shade it. You know, they can get the shade, but then they're growing, you know. 
same with this bed i'm gonna fill it up with some more soil maybe i don't know this may have enough soil in here um oh i'm gonna go ahead and get oh both of these are ready these chinese long noodle beans there we go Try not to knock the flower off of the other one because it's gonna grow its own noodle bean. But look at those. I have been enjoying these. I only have four plants. And um, when the season is getting to the end, I am going to let these go to seed so I can have much more next year. Um, these were seeds were given to me by Nicole Smith Gardening, my friend Nicole look at all of those chinese noodle beans they're coming um but yeah i i love these they taste really really good and you can just saute them up you could probably eat them raw i i'm not gonna eat them raw but you probably could my raised bed y'all my raised bed need prayer <laughs> it does i mean i do see a little bit of things growing in there i planted some onions along the, the borders of it and i planted tons of beans in there and beans don't take long to grow y'all to come up now this one did come up so that kind of gave me some hope but i don't know i just don't know about this bed because all this free space that is not doing nothing right now. I think I'm going to put some uh, more fertilizer, liquid fertilizer in here. And then I am going to fill it to the top with some soil and compost and just start planting back in it. So, I don't know. All right here with the rest of this harvest. So we got a little okra harvest this morning. And look at this. A little tree think it's going to grow in my strawberries, which it's not. I have this large red cherry tomatoes. These are the ones that when I planted tomatoes in the spring, I cut this one down low. And it has grown back up. I kept this one at a... It's been doing flowers, but it really haven't did any tomatoes. Okay, Bumble, where are you going this morning? <laughs> He's like right in my face, golly. The other day, <laughs> I was out here and a bumblebee, cause you know, they don't wanna be, they don't want you in a space when they trying to work and do whatever they doing to get their honey. I mean, the pollen or whatever. And this bee, I had my water hose and I was coming out here to water, which I'm finna do in a minute. Uh, and he was just like buzzing in my face with an attitude. I was like, okay, dude, you about to get sprayed. So now I had to spray him. He was okay. He just got, <laughs> he got out of my face. He was looking like, no, she did not spray me. Yes, I did. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me alone. Um, these are my sweet potatoes. I am just going to, I'm going to let these sweet potatoes sit here. So they die. Till they die out like yeah it can just sit here i don't care how many months it sits here these are my romas y'all i am trying to grow some roma tomatoes i know i said i do not like tomatoes which i don't i don't like raw tomatoes i should say that i love pizza sauce i love ketchup i love uh cooked tomatoes i just don't like them raw Unless they're in salsa or something like that. Anyway, I'm just picky. And so I'm growing some Roma tomatoes and see if I can get some of these. And then I'm going to make some um, sauce with those. Look at these. We got two of them in there. Look. <laughs> okay. Uh, male, male, males. All male flowers. Ah. Well, I mean, eventually a female's gonna come. 
But right now, these are all male flowers. So, I'm guessing that, that male flower is good because they're enjoying themselves in there. I do have potatoes in here as well, even though nothing has came up yet. But it is to make uh, potatoes in here. Y'all, these are, <laughs> they look dirty right now. <laughs> uh, these are my new high C boots. Um, I had the other kind that you have the little tag on the back when you, you know, lift it up, the little short boot ones. And the little tag started ripping on it. And there is, um, what is it, a hundred year warranty on these. And so they sent me another pair of boots. I told them what was going on. I should send them a picture. And they sent me another pair of boots. So thankful. This is high C boots. Uh, you'll see a lot of creators have these type of boots. They have all different kinds. They have hunting, garden, fishing, all types of boots. I like these. These are kind of more like a rain boot, garden boot. And um, in the description down below i will put in my um discount code so you can order you some boots as well they're not that expensive um and like i said 100 year warranty so yeah they're worth it here is my honeydew y'all um my honeydew melon i think it's only uh, after this one is done I am gonna go ahead and pull the honeydews out. Even though I probably could try to grow some more, but um, I have two other ones over here. I think I pollinated one of them over there, but this is my beautiful honeydew. It is heavy. <laughs> this is a heavy uh, honeydew right here. I uh, used the seeds from last year that I harvest from honeydews and Here's another one. This is the new one for this year. And I probably harvest the seeds from that. I'm going to give this to my grandbaby and my daughter. They're going to have them a nice honeydew. They like melons. You know, mama don't. They do. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Start watering my garden and everything. But I just want to take y'all along. Kind of show you what was going on in my garden i still growing stuff all the way through this hot temps that we've been having um this morning it's in the 70s it feels really nice this morning we will be in the next week or so back into the hundreds <laughs> back into the heat um but the the morning's supposed to be really nice so Look at the little cardinal this morning chirping. <laughs> All right. I see more bumblebees coming on in to come to work. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.